Hey guys, what's up? My name is Mike, and I am currently a computer science student uh, aspiring to be a software engineer. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for visiting. If you give me a, a like, you know, big thumbs up, or hit the subscribe button, comment, whatever, it all helps the algorithm, and I really appreciate it. So today I want to talk to you about HTML, CSS, and my experience. Really what I'm hoping that I can do with this video is help anybody that is going to be going through the, the motions of studying to become a software developer, full stack web developer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I want to share my experiences of HTML and CSS. Uh, I just finished that part of the coursework in my self-paced boot camp and I wanted to share my experience so that maybe you can benefit from it. Uh, I know when I was going through the motions of trying to figure out how to build a curriculum, I mean, eventually I, I decided that I was gonna do a boot camp, uh, self-paced on Udemy, but I know when I was trying to develop a, a curriculum that it was really tough to decide what I was gonna do and which direction I was gonna go. Uh, so hopefully my, my experience can help you out. Now, when I say HTML and CSS, I'm not talking about bootstrap. I'm just talking strictly about HTML and CSS uh, and what we're actually going to do in the next module is go over. Uh, we we were given an assignment uh, of a we were given a, a website template and we had to build it from scratch. Now I, I know that you know there's there's other options instead of HTML and CSS. I know you can, from what I've heard and what I've discovered, is you can pretty much build the same website with less HTML and CSS and practically all JavaScript. But uh, I'm just not there yet. I mean, I guess they say you have to walk before you can run, right? So uh, that's what we're going to be doing here today. So when, when I first started HTML in the course, well, first of all, I want to back up a little bit and talk about this course. Uh, it's the Complete 2020 Web Development Boot Camp by Angela Yu on Udemy. And uh, excellent course, excellent course. It was between that course and the the cold steel course uh, on Udemy and you know I guess there's uh, there's a boot camp in London or you know over in the UK I guess this is this is the equivalent of a boot camp that they they do and they teach over in the UK and uh, I think it's the app brewery uh, or something like that London app brewery uh, well you know regardless I think it's an eleven thousand dollar boot camp, and, and basically they they crunch the curriculum down into this this online course, self paced Udemy. Um, but anyways, uh, enough of the shameless plug, if you will. Uh, so this course uh, first starts off with a little bit of the history of the internet and teaches you about domains and DNS and and this and that and you know the fact that there's. You know, the internet's not just in the air, it's actually this, these long, huge cables that go, you know, underneath the ocean floor, or, or uh, over the ocean floor to other countries and whatnot. That's actually really cool. I, I'd like to do a video talking about how the internet works, because I think that's an interesting topic in itself. Uh, but anyway, so the, the course starts off with a little bit of the history of the internet, and then it gets into HTML, basic HTML, and then uh, advanced HTML, and then you know, intermediate uh, CSS and then advanced CSS. So right now I'm, I'm, I'm actually right about to go through the template and I know I got some stuff wrong uh, uh, when I was trying to design the website from scratch. The website looks good, I mean, it, it's fun. Uh, one thing I did get to learn was how to create a button. Uh, I guess there's a CSS button generator. Um, there's one that the course offers, and then I've heard of another one through uh, Brad Traversy. Uh, he's got a channel called Traversy Media, and that's a, that's a pretty good channel if you're trying to get into like coding and software development. Um, but uh, but yeah, so my experience with HTML and CSS. So when I first started, I, I had a little bit of prior experience with Free Code Camp, and I think that really helped me cruise through the HTML and a little bit of the CSS, you know, with, with, uh, with, you know, text align center and, and whatnot and floating the floating properties. Uh, but the basic HTML is pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. It's, it's almost like what you think it should be. So like a P tag is a paragraph and, and, you know, uh, the only thing that was kind of 
confusing for me was the the tables, the idea of tables and setting up tables and table cells, uh, table rows and table data. I mean, it's not it's not really not that confusing. Um, what I would suggest though, when you're going through HTML is when you get a new tag, uh, write the tag down and, and kind of try to burn that in your brain so that you can look at, you can you can look at yourself you can look at your notes and say, okay, I, I remember what that is. Also, another uh, great, awesome reference is um, the HTML and CSS by John Duckett. Actually, so funny, this is not a prop, and, and it's just kind of funny that I have it here, but I, uh, I actually have it right here. I have the JavaScript and jQuery one as well, but, um, but this book, it's got my, my tag in it and a CT lottery uh, ticket in it, but uh, the HTML and CSS by John Duckett, and actually, I think this, I think this book is free. Um, if you go online, if you Google HTML and CSS by John Duckett, I'm pretty sure you can, you can look at it or view it for free. It's got its own website, and, and it's really cool. It just kind of shows the layout and design of, of how to do basic websites and whatnot. But, um, but anyways, uh, I think for me, one of the best things that I can uh, suggest when going through HTML is try to remember the things that you can do. So if you're gonna create uh, a, a, an H1 tag or an H2 tag, remember that you know by list of importance. I'm pretty sure this is best practices. It would be by list of importance. You know, obviously the title of the page, and then you have you know different sections of of this or that. Uh, I think it makes more sense to to take to take good notes and try to visualize what you can do with code. You know, it might. It's okay to forget how to do it as long as you know what you can do so that you can Google it. <laughs> and uh, you know, it's funny because I actually, I've heard that many times and I actually found myself during the, um, the final part of the, uh, the CSS module where you test yourself, I found myself Googling a lot of stuff like float, the float property and, and uh, you know, how to wrap text and stuff. And uh, it's fun, it's really fun. You know, I actually really enjoy web development. Um, uh, what else, what else did I want to say? Uh, yeah, so, so that's, HTML is, is pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple in a sense that y you pretty much, it, it makes sense in, in my opinion. I think that it makes sense what the tags are supposed to do and, and what it's supposed to be. I think the, uh, the only thing that kind of caught me by surprise was span. Um, the idea of span because it's kind of I mean it's a, it's a foreign con it's all foreign concepts when you when you first start coding but I think uh, span is an interesting one and I don't, I don't know if like best practice it's used commonly but uh, but anyways I, I mean I had fun with it uh, when you get into CSS in this course they have this really great resource for for coming up with um, with color schemes you know and what's trending. So they have uh, the resource, it's called Color Hunt, uh, C-O-L-O-R-H-U-N-T. If you Google Color Hunt on, on Google, well, obviously on Google, but if you, if you Google that, it'll bring up this, this whole, uh, this whole, like tons of pages of, of different uh, color schemes of what's trending right now and what, what color palettes match each other. So I think that's really cool. Uh, it's a great resource. It could really, I mean, in my opinion, I think it could make a really uh, cruddy website look great with just some color and you know maybe a couple of good images from Pexels. I, I think that could really just spruce up a website to look like it's professional versus you know a newbie did it. Um, I would show you my site, but I'm not necessarily as confident as uh, I would like to be showing a site off. Uh, other than you know friends or family, but um, I'll get there one day. Uh, but anyways, yeah, uh, CSS. I think the most important thing to remember with CSS from from my takeaway, from what I think, if I was to you know somebody never touch CSS, never touch any code, and they said you know I'm gonna go straight in HTML CSS. I think the most important thing I would uh, tell them is to remember the float property, uh, for sure, remember float. Uh, 
she did say that best practice is, um, you know, it's used too much. It's used too not sparingly enough. I guess you would say it's just used too much in the in in enterprise or in the industry. I don't I don't really know, personally, but um. But uh, I think that's a really valuable, valuable thing. And then as well as uh, knowing how to change uh, colors, because I think that's one of the biggest impacts. And, and you got to remember, I mean, I, I could sound like a newbie right now, but I think, uh, you know, as, as a newbie, but I think uh, the colors just really, really change the, the interface of, of what it looks like. You know, it's got a beautiful user interface and uh and it's 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 fun it's fun especially with that color hunt resource uh other than remembering how to alter the colors uh we haven't covered flexbox or grid i know about flexbox or grid i've heard that it's really easy i mean the way that they set up the advanced css is with margins and padding and you know, separate divs. So, uh, basically, yeah, that's, that's another thing that I would definitely say that it's extremely important to acknowledge is the value of a div, uh, learn what a div is. Th this is me giving advice, uh, you know, post CSS, uh, pre, uh, uh bootstrap, but, um, the value of a div, uh, is just incredible and and the amount of times that you can use it you know over and over again you can use padding off of this div to this div and then margin you know it's just like uh, it really helps when you when you're not using uh, grid and and uh, in flexbox which I don't know why you wouldn't I, I don't know I haven't run into a situation like that yet but uh, it, it is a very valuable valuable tool to have in your toolbox um yeah so so i would say remember divs uh remember the value of of spacing alignment and and how to do it properly uh what i've been told time and time again is is learning to walk before you run and you know i, I know somebody who's who's currently in a boot camp right now and and we're kind of just feeding off of each other and I'm giving them resources and they're giving me resources from the different uh, curriculums that we're taking. And I think it's a really healthy and, and educational experience and I enjoy it, I really do. Uh, I think it's fun. So what I would recommend to anybody who's interested in jumping into HTML and CSS, if you, if you really are strapped for, for cash and you need free re resources. Uh, like I said, that book is an excellent resource and I think it is free. Uh, I'm pretty sure I, I, I've i Googled it a bunch of times and it just pops up. Like you can just, you know, search it and, and, and it'll pop up and it's it's uh, accessible to view. Uh, that's great. And then the freecodecamp.org is great as well too because I remember I used that before I, I purchased the, the Udemy bootcamp. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put the, uh, I'll try to remember to put the links for, for those resources in the description so that, you know, if you are are new to coding and you're, you're interested in coding and you don't really have the money and you don't want to make that, that big investment, trust me, I know how it is. Like, I know somebody who paid 10 grand for a boot camp. I know somebody who paid 15 grand for a boot camp and I paid, you know, with the, with the discount code, you just Google a discount code, you usually be able to find it. I paid like $12.00. I mean, for me, it's just like, it's just a matter of budget and, you know, it's like, how much do you really want to put in and, you know, going to college and, you know, how much debt you know, do you want to, but, uh, but all the knowledge is, in my opinion, I think all the knowledge is out there. You know, I think if you want to, if you want to learn the information, I think it's out there. I think it's accessible. You can find it. Uh, yeah, this is a long video. Uh, if you're still with me, I really appreciate it. If you could give me a like. If this information helped you, uh, subscribe if you're if you're interested in some future content. Uh, I think this is the direction of the channel that I, I want to take my channel. I'll have some some other uh, some other genres of videos on this channel, but really it's just my channel and what I want to talk about. Uh, uh, yeah, so I will leave the the free resources in the description if I remember. Uh, freecodecamp.org, uh, the Udemy, the uh, Complete 2020 Web Development Bootcamp by Angela Yu, excellent resource, 
and uh, the HTML and CSS by John Duckett. Uh, there's also one called JavaScript and jQuery. I don't know if he has any other books. I haven't really checked. I just know that these were great starter books. This was like when I was in free code camp and I was like messing around with HTML and CSS and I, I, uh, I was looking for other resources. I was like, you know, really adamant about having all these books. It's exciting. It's fun. Like when you really first jump into it, it's fun. It's fun. You know, it's and web development is really exciting. It's cool. Uh, to use these new technologies. I can't wait to use React. This course has eight hours of instruction on React and I'm just so excited to get into it. But uh, yeah, my experience with HTML and CSS, it was very fun. Um, I'm looking forward to Bootstrap. I am eagerly anticipating JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript and ES6 and, and React and I look forward to getting into that. Uh, doesn't go over Vue or... or uh, was the other one? Angular. It doesn't go over Vue or Angular, but, uh, you know, hopefully I can pick up on that fairly easy with uh, the knowledge of the, uh, the JavaScript programming. So hopefully that, that'll work out like that. But yeah, I'll put the resources in the description. Um, uh, yeah, you can Google a discount code and give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, and I'll see you again.